Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim, and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and everything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're going to like it here. Good Monday morning. Welcome. It is so foggy out that I can't even see my neighbor's house. Check that out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So hold on while I burn my mouth, because you know I do it every single time. Oh, not that bad this time. So what am I up to? Well, I had a bunch of this super bulky blanket yarn, which I don't love, but <clears throat> I had done a project a while ago with it, and I had some left over. So I'm like, well, what the heck am I going to do with it? I took... Let me show you. I took, well, it's over there. But anyway, I took liquid stitch <clears throat> and I rolled this up and I tucked liquid stitch in everywhere and I made a ball. Wouldn't it be fun for my grandson to play with? He can't get hurt because it's super soft and it won't come apart because it's stitched in. Well, liquid stitched in. But there you go. So that's one thing I'm up to. Be creative, right? All right, what else, what else, what else? So before I forget to mention, I am a guest tonight on um, Art Junkies Live. So I asked her if we could do a mug giveaway and she said, absolutely. So I am making up a couple cute mugs. So many crafts, so little time. And I put all the crafts, this one's not done yet. I've still got more to put on it, but here's one a water bottle that's done. I like the color. It's like subtle. So many crafts, a little time. I have a spool of thread, a sewing machine, some ribbon, glue, crayons, yarn, scissors, paintbrush, um, knitting needles, a hot glue gun, a crochet hook, and a threaded needle. I think it's adorable. As a matter of fact, I'm making myself one <laughs> because I like it and I want one. So what I do is I go into Goodwill and I'm when I tell you they're the brand new ones, I'm not kidding because like the cleaning instructions are still inside. So people are just getting rid of mugs that they've never used. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. My goodness. So um, those are the ones I look for. I obviously I don't take the ones that are used or yucky or anything like that. But I mean, the cleaning instructions are still inside of it. So you know, it's brand new. So um, I'm going to put a paintbrush right, right there. So um, I've been working on those. And that's fun. So let me, let me see the way I want to put, oh, I know right where I want to put it right here. It's three, right there. And then I also made myself this t-shirt. Now I kept, I was trying to make the one for Ruth because she was my first subscriber to buy me a cup of coffee. And um, I thought I'd bedazzle it a little bit, but these stars um, are not from the Cricut. I actually got them at Ocean State Job Lots. And um, they're iron-ons. And I was like, well, I'll try it. You know, why not? So I tried it and one peeled apart and some of the star, what are they? The, po the pokes, the points, some of the points of the star are peeling off. So I'm like, all right, I'll keep this one. And excuse me, I made Ruth another cool one. So I made her her special mug and I made her, it says be creative and it's got all different kind of balls of yarn on it. So that's going to her for that. If you guys are interested in either of those two items, because I'm keeping them exclusive for memberships. So once my channel gets up and going, as I only need 200 more hours, I can have members. But until then, I'm also having members on my Buy Me a Cup of Coffee channel. And the links are below. So... Um, if you'd like to become a member, it's $2 a month or $5 a month. And um, 
yeah so if you do the five dollar level um i send you a mug and a t-shirt so if you do just one if you do the two dollar level i let you choose either the mug or the t-shirt so there we have it do you think i need something here or would that be too i think it's fine i love this it's so hard for me not to want to keep it for myself and then i'm working on this one i don't know that i'm going to put any words on it i think i just might do all balls of yarn i need some more right in here so i thought i had one here's one so <clears throat> i don't think i'm going to put any words on this one i think it's cute without words so what else um i finished working with okay come on all right, you guys want to see my trick? So I pick a corner that doesn't have anything on it and I do this. So what that does is it creates a little corner where there is nothing, no vinyl, and then I peel it. <clears throat> Excuse me again, I really am sorry. Spring is, it's wicked for my throat. So I peel it doing that. I know it's weird, but when you never have fingernails, you learn ways to make non-fingernails work. <laughs> so I don't know. My Cricut is working-ish. Um, so it'll print the whole page, but then when it's done, it just stops. It doesn't, you know, it usually flashes to unload the paper or unload the thing and it's not doing that. So I literally have to turn it off. And then when you turn it back on, it automatically kicks out the thing that's in there. I don't know. I'm certainly not buying another one. And I just right now don't have time in my life to call customer service. So we'll see. It work, you know, it works well enough for the amount of stuff I do right now. Why can I never find the end of the tape? If I were smart enough, to mark the end of the tape when I use it, I wouldn't have this problem. But usually when I'm using it, I get too excited and then I just let it go. So I almost did it right while we're talking. So I'm going to just do this, pinch it over. There we go. So yeah, I really want my Cricut to work, but I really am not vested in it yet. So. Maybe if I'll do this over here, so I'm not shaking the camera. Sorry about that. So I finished. So we were talking about doing another um, one of these bags right here. So I took one of the granny squares and I cut it in half and I sewed it. Now, I know you all said to use a pink button. I did not have a pink button left, and I'll tell you why. Because I did another one of these. And my pink buttons ended up in here. So I used a white button. But anyway, it came out really cool. Um, let me turn on that light. There's another light above me, but I don't have the... I don't have it in me right now. So what did I just... Oh. So I think it's cute. It came out really cute. What else? My brain is just... Cause I've got, I've got so many things to do that rely on something else and I can't get them completely done. So it does me no good to start something if I can't finish it. So here I have the camper all emptied out, right? Because I'm redoing the, I'm washing the dishes and all that stuff. So I have that going on. Now I bought myself a new mattress cause I need a smaller mattress in there. The one that came with it. I think somebody, you know, the previous owner put that one in there and it's just too big. And for the size of my camper, which is 17 feet, every inch is important. So I bought a mattress that's four inches shorter than the mattress that I have right now. Okay. Why am I telling you this? Because I can't put the camper back together until that mattress comes. 
And I just got a notice from Amazon that now the mattress is also delayed till the 18th. I just want to put it all back together, but I can't. So now I have all the linens ready to make the bed sitting in the laundry room. And then I have all the clean dishes sitting in, in boxes around the house because, sorry, because um, I can't get into the camper because I have the old mattress standing up in the middle of it. So, and if you know anything about me, they, my mom used to call it upset. When the house is upset, <laughs> everything's not in its place. You know what I mean? When the house is upset, I'm upset because I can't get stuff. I'm not a clean freak by any means, but if I can't get something organized to where I want it to be, um, I get a little stressed. So anyhow, um, yesterday I showed you guys that I found two of these things. Isn't that pretty? I covered it and uh, I'll put in, uh, isn't that nice? Cause it was really chopped up and nasty under there. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this. Just some old school, nice paper, which I can still use the scraps of, but I went ahead and I glued this on. So it'll look pretty. I like it. The other one's still out in the car because I can't empty the car because I can't put stuff away. But so also in the car, I have stuff that needs to go in the camper. And I explained why I can't do that. So my car's not full, but as mom would say, upset. <laughs> so my car has stuff in it that needs to go into the camper. It also has stuff in it that needs to be sorted for the flea market. And right now everything's just hinged on the fact that I, I'm waiting for this mattress to come. So I start other projects and then I get overwhelmed because eh, anyway, I'm sorry. Never mind. So let me bite my finger now. <laughs> So I don't smoke. I chew my fingernails. All right. So I've added more to here. I figured I'm making so many of these, um, these little mugs that I'm going to make a page of them. So my crafting journal is going to be little bits and pieces of all projects that I'm doing. So I'm just going to go ahead. And once I peel off the stickers that go on the projects. I'm going to put the outline of them in the book. <laughs> I really am having a blast with this journal. Am I halfway through? No, I got a long way to go. I was going to say I better slow down because I'm halfway through, but I'm not. Come on, random piece. Come on, off of there. Off, off, off. There we go. So then I figure I can take like a marker or something and I can like the paintbrush. I'll put a little bit of yellow on the end of the paintbrush. So it looks like I've used it <laughs> almost like making my own coloring book. Oh. <laughs> See, Just a little bit of fun, right? Little bit of fun. You can hear the birds out there. So check out the um, the short that I just put up there. The entire river has disappeared. Except the part that's on my yard, of course. So that's still there. But um, the fog is so thick. I'm just ready for it to be warm again. Like the trees are all budding and everything's nice and beautiful. And then all of a sudden it's 30. I'm like, what's going on? I, I want our weather back. I don't even know what happened. Apparently Mother Nature wasn't ready to wake up, right? Make this a blue crayon. 
<laughs> Where's that sticker that goes in the middle of it? So tonight on that um, that live that I'm a guest on, she sent it. She sent me some questions. I seriously, it's so funny. I'm really excited. I know. I'm sorry. I'm playing with this. Now you know how Fritz feels. He wants my attention. And I don't give it to him. <laughs> because I'm crafting. Is he in here? Yes, he is. So it's 8 o'clock. I will put the link below. Um, it should be fun. She says to me, she asked me, you know, what other questions do you think I should ask and this and that. And then I, I gave her a couple. And she writes back, well, that should be enough because you're a chatter. We should have plenty to talk about. I was like, thanks. <laughs> so I told her I was bringing some of my friends. So I hope some of you guys can join. That'll be really fun. Um, Eight o'clock. Oh, look how cute the paintbrush came out. So eight o'clock. I'm just nervous that like she uses um, a program I don't have. I just, I do my lives through Facebook, or Facebook, through YouTube. I don't, I don't even know what they call it, but I don't have it. And she said she'd send me a link, but I don't know if I want the link because I don't have that program. I don't know. I just don't know. I hope we don't get to 8 o'clock and all of a sudden she can't click me in. That would be devastating. <laughs> what else? Oh, I watched the NASCAR race yesterday. My driver... I don't know. Is it time for him to retire? Could be. Could be. I hate to admit it, but it could be. I don't know. He used to be so good. Now he's got two kids and he's older, so maybe he's just done. I know a lot of the drivers, once they have children, like their wives are like, mm, you're done. Which I get it. I mean, one second you're fine. The next second you're, you know, Dale Sr. and you're not fine. So... I don't know. What am I doing? 18. I've been talking 18 minutes already. What else? Oh, so Crystal. Over at Bag of Days, she was opening. She got something on eBay. And, you know, I kind of put her on in the background while I'm crafting so that I can hear what's going on. And, you know, because I know a lot of people reference her while I'm on my lives and stuff like that. So I have to, uh, although I'm super busy, I keep other content creators up on my iPad. So I hear Crystal and she's talking and she's like, she got some vintage Afghan kits. And I'm listening and she's like, oh, this one, this one's kind of a creepy clown. And I was like, huh. So I look up and she has this exact kit. And she's saying, I can't open it because it's sealed and this and that. Well, mine is not sealed. So Crystal showed this exact one. And I've decided since mine's in a zipper bag, I'm going to go ahead and make it. So, and then I will um, let Crystal know I made it. Like I'll email her, or put it up on her Facebook page or something. Not that she knows at all who I am or cares, but I think it would be really cool to show her because she's like, oh, I'd really like to look at it and this and that. But. Oh, yeah. So I already see that I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> all right. You're supposed to do kitty corner. Well, the instructions are not very clear. Yeah, 
they're not all that clear because it shows you right here. See, the arrow goes straight up, right? So that's how I'm doing it, straight up. I'm a visual learner. Apparently, if you look at this picture, you're supposed to go corner to corner. So I'll be pulling this out because I really want to do it right because it is vintage. It comes with everything you need. It's really cute. It's a little, um, to get the hang of it, it's a bit much, but I really want to do it. I did one after I got into doing this. I was like, this feels like I've done it before. You know, how, especially like, when you do a craft, it smells vintage. You know what I mean? Anyway, when you when you do a craft that takes you a long time, okay, um, it almost burns a memory in there, right? You're like, oh, I remember this, right? So um, I got a few steps into this. I'm like, oh, I remember this. And also the reason I'm going the wrong direction is when I did it the first time in 1981, um, it was up and down like that. So I am already a few rows into this. Check out this needle. It's the longest needle ever, but um, a few rows into this and I have to pull it out and make it kitty corner. Do I though? Do I? Why don't I put my own spin on it? So I could just at this point do one of the colors. I just dropped a needle. There it is. I dropped the needle. I found it. So you'll see I put stitch markers on it because I am doing method number two where you don't have to sew a seam. All you do is you weave the seam in in the beginning so you can't tell it's there. So, yeah, I'm going to do it my way. I'll do it my way, Fritzy. Mommy's going to do it her own way. Um, apparently, I didn't snip this off yet. And also, they say to measure it in the lengths you're going to need and cut it and use the lengths. I leave it attached to the skein, go all the way through, make sure I'm measuring it approximately the same length at every end, and then trim it off. That's what I'm doing. I'm not going to, because it leaves way too much room for error if you do it that way. I have paint all over me. I can't, it won't come off either. Scrubbing it. So that's what I'm up to. I've got a lot going on. And I'm still stressing about the fact that I have a lot more to do. I really, I really need that mattress to come so I can get everything organized. So that's first. So I'm going to go ahead and keep plugging along. I'm going to do a few more rows of this. And then I have to do a few more rows of my two work in progress projects. That's what I'm going to do. Make sure I I've got three of them going right now. Just work on this a little bit, put it down, work on this a little bit, put it down, work on this a little bit, put it down. Because I say to myself, oh, you can work on that tonight while you're watching, you know, Wheel of Fortune or whatever. I can't because Fritz sits on my lap. And when I say he sits on my lap, he legit, no matter where I move the yarn to get out of his way, <clears throat> he sits on it because he wants my attention and he's not going to put up with anything less than my full attention. So I can't just say, ah. All right, so here's what I do with this. I might as well show you one, right? Okay, so and I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna frog it out. Not gonna do it. All right, so all you do is you start at the end and this one went in so i'm going up down and it's just like this in and out 
in and out each row it i'm not gonna lie it becomes a little tedious um and i do remember that from when i did my first one back in the 80s and i was new to crafting back then you know i was my most of my crafting back then were the posters for the basketball games and football games you know the team runs through it and they break through the banner and they're all excited and then you hang posters up on the wall that's that was my creativity back then and of course making doll clothes but other than that nothing so i think I want to say the kit that I got, it had to be at the Salvation Army. Because back then, we did not have money for me to go to a craft store. You know, or maybe it was at Woolworths. That could have been. Anyway, because we did, there was a mall where we had a Woolworths in there. And um, so you can see, then I just take this. You pull it through. So I do remember when I did my first one that it was a long progress process. Um, so instead of looking at how much I had to go, I just kept looking, oh, look how much you have done. <laughs> All a game, a mental trick to trick yourself. But yeah, so I'm going to keep going with this because I want to finish it up. <clears throat> and then I'm going to post it on Crystal's Facebook page to show her because I did message her video, but she gets so many, I'm sure. I mean, she's got a million subscribers. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, me with just my thousand, I have a hard time keeping up. So I can imagine, you know, she probably has somebody do that for her now, right? You would think. You would think, right? So. All right, I am going to get myself going and work on one of my 70 projects. Not to mention I still have housework to do. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Fritzy, you won't tell on me, will you? No. He does one eye. He's like, no, my, you're good. So, all right, you guys, please have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, <clears throat> please subscribe if you haven't. Like all that fun stuff. And... Um, I do appreciate you. So remember, let's see if I can remember. You ready? Be happy, be kind, and always be creative. Thanks, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.